uh, challenge from the Bank of England was basically traditional metrics will look backwards and tell you what has happened. So the Bank of England wanted us to look forward and predict the possibility of banks' failures. So by analyzing executives' communication styles, what they do not say and how their communication style changes over time, we are able to predict bank failure not only months in advance, in some cases years in advance. And so our project was able to find an early warning system so that the banks could use to, to modernize their risk assessments. Yes, I mean, it was a, it was a good experience. Uh, in my team, I led the strategy and the literature review, primarily. The real world setting was actually really interesting. As data scientists, we have a bias of jumping straight into the coding. Um, uh, solving a real world problem meant we actually had to do a lot of literature review. We had to see what had come before us, how people tried to solve the problem and leverage over that. And working with the team to a deadline was quite interesting because we would have liked to do a lot of different things, but having a strict deadline made us focus on what is deliverable and what can we do within our time limits. Uh, so there was a lot of time management, a lot of research, a lot of cooperation. It perfectly mirrored a real life working scenario. So my background has been in behavior design. So I like the psychology aspects of why people do what they do. So as part of this project, I developed a behavioral science framework, which combines linguistics and merges it with artificial intelligence. And once we presented it to the Bank of England, it was the first topic they discussed when it was time for Q&A. And as part of this project, what I will be doing is I'll also be developing into a theoretical framework going forward. So I think that was a standout moment for me because I could apply what I had learned in the past to data science, solve a real world problem, and actually do it with behavioral science and AI. So I think this program really excelled at the technical skills. It taught, it taught us what is available, and also the theory behind it, why you would use it and when you would use it. I think that is the most important part for a data scientist. Not only just using the tools, it's how you use it, when you use it, what is the right tool for the right time to use. So I thought, so that was the best part from the course. So for future jobs, what I would do is, um, like I said, as we have a bias as data scientists and developers that we jump straight into the coding without actually thinking about the problem to be solved. So the lessons I would take forward are that before you start coding, understand the problem you're going to solve. What is the hypothesis? Solve it with your strategy, and then you use coding to implement that strategy. So that sequence is what I would, what I would say is the most valuable thing I'll take forward. So it will help me with having a methodical approach to problem solving. Not necessarily a methodical approach to a data science project. It's solving a problem first with the tools that we have and, and then using data science to finalize it. The advice I would give to prospective learners is that understand the tools that are given to you in this project, um, understand how they are applied and the business context you will apply it in because the skill of solving a business problem is more valuable than the coding skills you will gain. Uh, we have a statistics that we float about that says 85% of all data science projects will fail. And understanding the reasons why they fail and how to solve a problem is important. And I think this course does really well at giving you the tools and helping you understand why each tool is used when to solve a problem.